Buell Super Cruiser. I saw some of it. I'm a little unhappy with, with what I'm seeing from the the release. So the bike is priced at $25,999. Too high, right? Too high. It's like a live wire debacle all over again. Buell, you shot yourself in the foot. There's something else that's not making it on the bike. I'm To another video, we're here with the coolest white guy. No old school Jerry is in the building. Jerry, Jerry. All right, so today what I want to talk about, and and I, I hope you are quite informed with uh, all the release, all the new information released from the Buell Super Cruiser. I saw some of it. Right, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm. I'm a little unhappy with, with what I'm seeing from the the release and how the bike is going to come and pricing and everything because I was, well, we were mm -hmm. very, very excited for this bike when, you know, it, it, was, it was first announced. It was first announced and we found out about everything that I was going to have, how cool it looks. Um, I was really excited. We, we both were. Um, we, we even had side conversations where we were like, well, you, this, this could be a bike that you know, other of us could buy. possibly buy, you know? It's a really cool bike, mm -hmm. really cool bike. Um, but uh, earlier last week, we, we uh, finally find out a lot of information. So, um, I, let's just start with pricing first, you know? Let's start with pricing. So the bike is priced at $25,999. Mm -hmm. So hold on, that's basically $26,000. Now, if you are one of those lucky people that already submitted mm -hmm. your fifty dollar deposit, uh, you're gonna get that bike for twenty three and change. So it's, you're gonna get it for a two thousand dollar discount, yes. which is cool. Um, it's still a little pricey, mm -hmm. um, but if not, um, if anyone uh, orders a bike after November, I believe it is. Yeah. Um, then you're just gonna pay regular price, which is the Twenty-five nine 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 nine, which is twenty-six thousand um, dollars. What do you think about the pricing? It's too high. Too high, right? Too high. It's like a live wire debacle all over again. Buell, you shot yourself in the foot. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's too 20, high. Twenty-three nine nine is not bad. Twenty-three nine nine should have been the max for that bike. Yeah. And then maybe you take two thousand off of that for the people that ordered. Or yeah, and I and I don't want to. I don't want to take anything away from Buell, you know, like, uh, I think what they're doing is awesome. I think the amount of coolness that bike is bringing right now in this day in this market is awesome. Um, but I think they missed the mark with the pricing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you, you already have people complaining about prices on, uh, uh, on Harleys or Indians, right? Mm -hmm. For example, the low rider S. You could buy the Lower Rider S brand new for nineteen nine nine nine. It's twenty grand. So, you're if you want to get this bike, you're getting this bike for twenty six thousand dollars. All right. If you're gonna compare apples to oranges, obviously all the horsepower that the Buell has yeah, and this and that, dollars. it's can you justify the six thousand dollars for that? I honestly don't think so. I think the bike is amazing. I, th I think it looks great. I think it looks super cool performance driven it's something that's like out of someone's yeah. garage it's, it's awesome it's something bad i can sit here and say about the bike but the pricing sucks well the sport bike ones they make with all carbon fiber bodywork and everything they were up at lake church or selling for nineteen thousand dollars nineteen oh, yeah. nine or whatever and i'm I, like i thought it would be more that's what i thought too and i'm like oh, i'd buy that Huh, interesting. You're talking like a sport bike with all car. It's the same engine. Do they look nice? I, I haven't oh, seen one yeah, person. Oh, yeah, they're badass. Yeah? Yeah. Huh, interesting. Um, so, yeah, like, what do you... Mm, pricing too much? I think it's too high. Like, yeah, I think you, you, the problem is you come in too high, and then that's just the list price. What's the prep, the freight, the fees? Like, they're going to have the same bullshit that Harley has, where I'm it's an sure. extra, like... So, you get $30,000. In a bike. In a bike. Thirty thousand dollars, you're uh, on a rope ladder out, out the door, mm. <laughs> and it's like it's uh, you know, like, like again, let, let's compare it to a lower rider S, nineteen thousand, twenty thousand, let's just say, mm -hmm. um, the Indian Sport Chief, 
another bike that's 19 inch inch, twenty thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. um, and the Sport Chief has a, a, a lot. The Sport Chief comes with riding modes. Yeah. Which the the low rider S doesn't. Which Harley, I think we we should be doing an upgrade to the soft tails. I think riding modes should be part of it. Four inch display off the Sportster mm -hmm. S. Yeah. With the riding modes. Um, cool heads on top would be awesome. Like mm -hmm. the new baggers. That's gonna be a different video. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, it's, if you when, if you want to compete with Harley and in the end, like you you guys kind of like shot yourself in the foot already with the pricing. Yeah, I mean their performance aspect. Okay, they can argue that, but most people, this and and the the chief are enough for for ninety nine percent. You got that one percent that's gonna be like, I need that one hundred and eighty horsepower. Yeah, if it comes through with one hundred and eighty horsepower. If that, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, man. I don't know. Now, all right, so we talk about pricing. Let's talk about what's not going to make it on the bike because we saw the bike looks amazing, but just to let you know, the Olin's front, uh, front I think it was front and rear or just front, is not going to come with the Olin suspension. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Um, there's something else that's not making it on the bike. I forgot what it was. Um, Things that for certain are gonna make it on the bike on the uh, build are gonna be the the fairing, the, the Memphis shades, right? Memphis shades fairing, and uh, and the windshield, and the saddle and the seat, saddle and seat, which, which is, is from cool, factory, which is yeah. cool. That's awesome. Um, they're what else is making it? Um, they're, they're still making a few tweaks to the frame. They're still making a few tweaks to the the, the rear fender. Mm -hmm. um, they're 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 still tweaking the bike here and there, little things. But I mean, the suspension alone is is like a big. It's a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. If you're paying that kind of money, you should be getting. Olins. You should be getting Olins because I mean, the Indian Sport Chief comes with Fox suspension. Yeah. Not saying that Fox is at the same level that as as Olins is, but it's Fox suspension. Yeah. You're not getting stock, just regular stock suspension, you know. Yeah, and then I don't know what kind of muffler they're gonna put on there because they got. Oh yeah, that that's another thing. That's that, that that's what it was. The the nice little short exhaust. You're not getting that. It's it's an option. It's a seven hundred dollar option, but it's gonna come with that really huge ugly leaf blower. Because it got to pass EPA. Yeah. yeah, I mean EPA, whatever. Um, but it comes with that huge ugly exhaust, which I mean, when it comes to exhaust, people always complain. Oh, the exhaust is ugly, dude. You get rid of the exhaust regardless. So whatever. I don't care about that. But the suspension to me at twenty five grand, twenty six grand, thing. it should have came with Olin's. Yeah, because they're already using their same brakes, which is that radial the one yeah. that goes around the outside. It's single gonna, disc. It's gonna come with dual disc front brakes no, as well. Single. No, dual. Is it dual. Dual. Because they're using the one that goes around the outside that Buell's known yeah. for. So it's a dual. I think I'm pretty sure it's the uh, dual disc front brakes. No, no, no. I looked that up. Yeah. Um, I mean. Because the rotor is as big as the rim, it's the it goes on the outside. That's another thing. Is it gonna have those wheels? They didn't mention anything about the wheels, but that could be another thing, mm. another caveat where it's like, yeah, well, you don't get these. And wheels. They were talking about the. It screen. might be an option. Aren't they talking about the screen too? I don't know anything about the screen. It's got like um. Looks like a LCD, like a like the like the square, like the Pan America. It looks like the Pan America screen, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but smaller, I think. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll have that. Um. They're still making minor adjustments to the tank as well. Yeah. There's like little things that they're trying to tweak, and I did hear mention that they're gonna come out with, because uh, it's like a version one, the first one that we saw, the version two right now, the one that you saw, that for those of you guys who were out at the rallies, you guys saw that, mm -hmm. and now they're trying to come out with the version three right. with all the minor little tweaks here and there they're trying to do. Um, I, 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 like I said before, I don't wanna take anything away from you. I think what they're doing is awesome. I think that, you know, it it's really cool like I really wanted that bike but at that price point you're kind of you're missing the gap man yeah. definitely missing the gap because it's not you're not Harley and you're not Indian no so you can't even like and even they're having trouble selling the bikes at the price point they're selling them at uh, I mean people already complain about Harley prices yeah. like, let's just say a low rider S 20 yeah. grand yeah. Like, you got people complaining about that already so it's like 26 is crazy, bro. I'm, don't get me wrong. People are going to spend it, too. Oh, yeah. But how many the, people? Exactly. There's like said, it's 1%. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to buy it, but it's, is it going to be what, you know, was expected? No. I'd have to ride it. Yeah. I mean... Before I lay that kind of money down, I'd have to ride it. 
and regardless of something and then like that then it kind of burned my ass that i know the people went in first and they're paying two thousand less but then i'd be like well what do i gotta pay two thousand dollars more yeah I don't know, man. at that price point i could just get a little rider s put a 131 in it a few little mm -hmm. minor adjustments and I, I got a hello machine could even buy an st for that price and put a 131 in it like, no <laughs> I uh, see, well, 23 and then mm, be close. It'll be a little over with the ST, but I'm trying to keep it to that model mm -hmm. frame, like that type of yeah. look. The lower rider S is where uh, it's at. Um, I don't know. Well, what, what do you, what else do you think about it? I, like I said, I mean, it's like the Indian when it came out with the FTR. The first iteration was unbelievable. I was like, I want that, I want that. The Roland, when Roland Sands did it, the first one, and they were doing the commercials, I'm like, I want that. Then when it finally came out, I'm like, uh, mm. I'm like, it's okay. I mean, it's gotten better over the years, but when the when the difference between the the, the what do you call it, the concept mm -hmm. versus the production. I mean, a concept is always gonna be a concept. It's always gonna have. It was crazy, yeah. You know, yeah. It's gonna have, they're gonna throw everything at it. Production. And that's another thing. Production. Let's talk about production. Yeah. So production is supposed to go into production fall of 2025. We're in September of 2024 right now. So production of 2025 is when it's going to start. Those of you guys who order your bikes might get them delivered at the end of the year. January 26. I'm, I'm 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 thinking 26. I'm thinking early 26. January yeah, February. By the time they tweak all the bugs and everything, yeah, probably. Yeah. So we're 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 still two years out before it's out there. Like yeah. be between here and there, I think Harley Davidson has already come out with something else that's gonna be like, well, the beaches is a bunch. I I think I, I mean I hope Harley has something next year. I hope so too. I, I hope because otherwise, hope you know, they they did everything on the dressers. They gotta get onto this platform. Yeah, but do you got two years? I got. It's like the perfect time for Harley or Indian to be like, yeah, so we got we got this right now. Yeah. Them being that. such, you know, these big conglomerate companies, they're able to move quicker and source things out much quicker than, you know, Buell. Well, they Buell. probably have it in R&D already. And who knows? Because they announced the Super Cruiser, what, two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. So they already have a... Yeah. Mind you, the Super Cruiser is based on, off of a uh, Harley-Davidson FXR. Yeah. That's what's kind of like the premises of it and everything. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, Harley Davidson does have a lot of their own stuff that they can play around with in the house and come up with something as good. Yeah, I mean, even the soft tough frame, like we were talking about, all you got to do is throw the four inch T, the, the four inch display on there with the ride and the navigation and the radio, you know, um, and then just the rider modes, do the liquid cooled, like we said, get more horsepower to the engine, and I mean, maybe a little suspension upgrade. Yeah, a little suspension upgrade. And I think that's it. I mean, you notice the difference just in the inch between your 2020 lowrider and this bike. Oh, big time. Just an inch around the rear shock. It, it's a world of difference. Big time, yeah. yeah. So yeah. They, have, they have time. They can do stuff. It doesn't have to be Owens on the Harley. It could be no, I mean, they're just, just something a little do. better. A lot of stuff out there they could do. Just more adjustable. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if the Sport Chief's adjustable like the... Um, like the 101. I am going to say maybe. I can't. I can't forget. I forgot the. I can't remember. Maybe because the 101's got a fully adjustable suspension. I can't remember. I know the Sport Chief. I think did come with the front. Yeah. yeah. Uh, adjustable. I think. Don't worry about that. Um, but all right, that's it. Those are uh, our thoughts on the brand new or not yet, almost there, uh, Buell Super Cruiser. Like I said, I'm not taking anything away from the company. I think they're doing a great job. I think their vision is is really good. I like where they're going. I think pricing just is gonna hurt them a bit. Yep. Anything else from you, sir? Yeah, I think that's it. Like I said, I think pricing shot himself in the foot. I think it's it's gonna be you know they they have the horsepower advantage right now, but who knows if Harley and Indian gonna come out with something that's 180 horsepower up there? No. I mean they could put all. 155 horsepower they got in the Pan America. They could just throw something like that in. You throw a Revmax that does 180 horsepower. Because when I bought That's my Pan, salt rain. my yeah, because my Pan America when I bought it originally, they originally in 2021, they were coming out with a stage two kit that was going to bump uh, my horsepower from 155 to 180. Like you know what we're going to say right now? What? 
Could have been the Bronx. Could have been the Bronx. <laughs> Still, still can be the Bronx. Still can be the Bronx. Gonna leave with that. If you are new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Share this video with your friends, and I'm very eager to know what you guys think about the Super Cruiser. Do you think it uh, is gonna make a, a, a big difference in the uh, motorcycle market, uh, midsize cruising market? Um, do you not care about the bike? Do you not care about Buell? Then will you be buying one? Or did you already put a deposit down? Drop it down. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Man, that was good, man. Yeah. The Twin Powers. Actually. The Twin Powers. Wonder Twin Powers. Are Wonder Twins? Wonder Twins. You don't remember the Wonder Twins? What's Wonder Twins? You never. You're a big cartoon guy. Oh, I'm thinking like Captain Planet or something. I don't know. <laughs> Captain Planet. He's our hero. No. No. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs>